what the fuck is sleep? I don't even know what that is. Just pull me up for what that tree is. Hold up and watch that bitch. So, are you familiar with Andrew Tate? Semi, like I see some of his videos, like they come up in reels, like, you know, Instagram, Facebook, and I've seen some things. That nigga is just a, a very aggressive, bald-headed ass nigga. Like, he's got to be from Miami. Like, I just came back from Miami not that long ago. Like, I've seen 25 niggas that look like Andrew Tate and act like that nigga. Uh, he was recently, I think this happened about two days ago, but he's suspended for, uh, like, I think he's banned mm -hmm. from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I think even YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I seen a tweet, and it said, Andrew Tate's main message is stop being lazy and making excuses and mm -hmm. go to work and get in shape and make money. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, you have people that look up to women like Cardi B, whose main message is to do drugs, fuck random men, and go through life as a brain dead moron. Well, hold on. Hold on. I, gotta dis I, gotta, I have to disagree with that. Because Cardi B, she didn't, that's not her message to me. She talked about an experience that she had when she was a stripper. That shit, that shit go goes down in in that world. That's just what goes down. She didn't. I don't feel like that she was telling women to go drug men and like take their money, all type of shit or whatever. She's just, you know, I don't. I just I disagree with that comparison. I mean, niggas just hate Cardi B so much. So whenever like there's a a, a a male that they're trying to take down niggas always want to go to the the cardi b but cardi b say a lot of a lot of cool shit too cardi b funny as hell to me so i don't like that comparison uh but when it comes to andrew tate i mean it was this what what this this is why he got kicked off it's not people was not pissed off of like what he says his whole message where where he got fucked up at is he said that he would never give a single mother a chance and all them girls on Facebook, because you know it's hella single moms on Facebook, they be, they, be the, they be the main ones that's talking on the internet. They got mad at him because of that statement right there, and that's why he got kicked off the internet. Now, I haven't, I haven't watched a lot of his videos, so I could be wrong about that, but that's just what I've seen everybody be mad at. Like, the other shit, like, some people say, like, Oh well, he you know he's racist, homophobic. Now I can't speak on that because I just haven't, I haven't like just seen that. But my thing is like I get, I don't get why he's being taken down because at the end of the day, like that's his opinion. Okay, he doesn't want to uh, date a single single mom. There's plenty of men that don't want to date single moms. There's a lot of women that don't want to date men with kids because of the baby mamas. I, I totally understand that. If that's your preference, that's your preference. Now, his homophobic stuff, I have not seen that. I cannot speak on that. His racist shit, I have not seen it. I just feel like I would have, I would if people were that upset about it, I would have seen videos like that. I don't really, I don't watch him. So why are the only videos that I've seen are the ones where he's talking about he wouldn't date a single mom because that's the one that's the video that most people were mad at they was not mad at the other shit they just looking for other shit to get mad at because they mad that he wouldn't date a single mom so i don't think that he should have got his profile taken down because of his opinion now if you somebody you know that's spreading like misinformation like you know you know how they did trump or whatever because he was spreading some shit that wasn't true they had to shut him down because he was just saying stuff that wasn't true. This guy is saying stuff that's just his opinion. It has no effect on me. Don't have any uh, effect on Kyrie, Chandler, anybody else. It doesn't. Re it doesn't really matter. So why are they taking him down off his opinion? If you disagree with it, okay, fuck the nigga. But it's just like if you agree with him, cool. If you don't, that's fine too. But why are we shutting down like this man's voice when there's plenty of women on the internet? And I'm not trying to start a gender war or anything like that I, I i love women like it ain't I, it ain't that but there's plenty of women that have said similar things like oh i wouldn't date a man that got a a nine to five i wouldn't date a man that had a baby mama i wouldn't date a man that has a short dick i wouldn't do this blah blah blah, blah. but nobody ever says anything to them nobody ever texts them about nothing like women say especially like on twitter i don't know if y'all twitter users but women be saying the most foulest shit about niggas and we let that shit slide, but let a nigga say he won't, he don't want to date a kid with a baby, with a uh, with a baby, then it's a big problem. Cause I said that one time, cause I don't think, I mean, I'm damn near 30, so I got about two years left, and I ain't gonna have a choice but to date, but to date somebody with a kid. But I said that I'm like, I don't think that would be my preference either. 
And the girl that I was talking to with it about just went off on me. She's like, that's just so shallow. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I just don't want to, you know, I just don't want to deal with that. I'm not a father figure at this point in my life. And she just went off on me. And I don't get it. But it is what it is.